Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about the power of story maps in education and how to create a story map cascade. First things first, what is a story map? Story maps are a simple yet powerful way to inform, engage, and inspire your students with any story you want to tell. Story maps are web applications that let authors combine beautiful maps with narrative text, striking images, and multimedia, including photos and videos, to tell stories about the world, your country, or your local community. Story maps are designed to be usable by anyone. That means educators and students can use them for both teaching and learning. And the best thing is, to start creating your own story map, all you need is an ArcGIS online account. Since we'll be creating our own story map cascade, Let's look at an example for inspiration. Let's explore one of our story maps called Canada's Atlantic Ocean and Fisheries, which tells the story of the global significance of the Canadian fishing industry. The first thing you'll notice about this story map is that the cover page has an engaging title, subtitle, and photo. As you scroll through the cascade, you'll see maps combined with photos, videos, and text. You'll also notice that the sections look a little different. There are two main types of sections you can author in a Cascade story map, narrative and immersive. A narrative section contains text and inline media. When a reader scrolls through a narrative section, it behaves much like a typical web page. These sections are the best way to feature descriptive, long form text. An immersive section fills the page with the media you choose, for example, a map or a photo, with narrative panels of text that float over it. They are a great way to lead readers through a map or even a sequence of maps. Alternating between the narrative and immersive sections creates an engaging visual story for your audience. Now that we've learned a bit more about story maps, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a compelling story map cascade by recreating this story map. Before we begin, it's important to note that you can create a story map a couple of different ways. Regardless of which method you choose, everything begins by signing in to your ArcGIS online account. The first way to create a story map is from the map viewer. You can see here that I've created a couple of different web maps with all the layers that I eventually want to show in my story map. You can use any web maps that you've created in ArcGIS Online in your story map. You can even use web maps that have been created and published by other users or organizations. By opening one of the web maps and clicking on the share button, you'll be presented with an option to create a web app. By clicking on the button, you'll see the many different configurable web application templates that you can create. To create a story map cascade, you'll click on build a story map and search through all the different templates to find the story map cascade. Select it and click create web app. You'll enter a meaningful title and tags and click done. The cascade builder will automatically appear and you can begin configuring your story map. Another way to create a story map is from the Story Maps website. Once you've signed in to your ArcGIS online account, click on Apps and Story Maps, and you'll be automatically signed in to the Story Maps website. To author your own story, click on My Stories. The My Stories page acts like a curated library of all the stories you've created thus far. You can click on Check Stories to check the health of each of your story maps. When you're ready to create a story, you'll click on Create Story, and you'll be presented with all the different templates you can select from. If you weren't sure what type of template you wanted to use, click on Ask the Pros and answer a series of questions about your story to get a suggested template. Since we already know we want to create a story map cascade, We'll go back to pick an app and select Cascade. You'll again be brought to the Cascade Builder where you can begin configuring your story map. 
Now we'll start creating the content of our story. You can click on the text to enter a meaningful title and subtitle. You can click on the add image or video button to specify your own cover media. The media picker appears, which allows you to add in your own map, photos from Flickr, Google, or Unsplash, or enter links to images, videos, or other apps on the web. You can also upload an image file directly from your computer by dragging and dropping them into the box. For our cover photo, we'll select a photo from Unsplash. You'll see the photo will automatically appear in the background of your cover. We'll save our story by clicking on the Save button. To create a title for the first section of your story, click on the plus sign and select Title. Type in the title of your section and click Add Media to add a background photo of your choice. Once that's done, click on the plus sign again to add content to this section. For this section, we'll select Narrative. Click on the placeholder text block in that section and start typing the introduction to your story. The block formatting button in the margin lets you format your paragraph as a heading or block quote and also adjust the alignment of the text. To format a passage in bold, italic, underline, or strike through, first select the words you want to format and then press the option you want to use. To create a hyperlink, select the text you want to turn into a link and press the link tool to specify the URL. Now we'll add our first immersive section by clicking the plus sign and selecting immersive. To add media to this view, click on add media to open the media picker and choose what you want to display. For this section, we'll choose a web map that we've already created. To customize what layers you want to show in this view, click on the pencil. You can adjust the extent of your map by clicking the map and dragging it to the area you want the map to focus on. A legend will appear in the corner where you can select which layers you want to be visible in this section. You can specify if you want a pop-up to automatically open as your reader scrolls through by clicking somewhere on your layer. When you are done adjusting the contents of your map, click the check mark. Each view also has an associated text block that appears on top of it. Click on the placeholder text block and continue your story. Click on the small pencil in the corner of the box to configure the width, location, background color, and behavior of these text blocks. Next, we'll add another narrative section and adjust the styling of the text. You can add different media to your narrative sections as well. To do so, click the plus sign and select Media. You're again presented with the media picker. This time, we'll add a photo from our computer. You can do this by dragging and dropping an image file into the box or browsing to the file location and clicking Open. You can also add videos directly from YouTube by selecting Link to Content from the Media Picker. Enter the URL for your video and click the check mark. You can adjust the size of the video by clicking on the pencil and selecting small, medium, or large. Continue your story by adding another title and changing the background photo. We'll add an immersive section and select a different web map to be part of our story map. We'll continue our story in the text block and configure the settings the way we want it to look. Continue adding maps photos, videos, or other media until your story is complete. At any time, you can reorder the sections in your story by pressing the Organize button that you'll see at the bottom left. Since we've added titles to our story, we can use the Bookmarks option in the Settings dialog to add our titles into the header of your story. Readers can click on the bookmarks in the header to quickly navigate to the different parts of your story. Once you're happy with your story map cascade, you're ready to share it. Press the save button again to make sure everything is saved. 
Then choose the share option you want to use. You can choose to share your story publicly or just within your organization. Click on view story to see your story in action. Congratulations, your story map cascade is now operational. Your students will be able to find your story map by searching for the title within ArcGIS Online, or you can share the URL via email or social media. That's it. We can't wait to see how you use story maps in your classroom. Do you have any questions about creating a story map cascade? Post your story map questions or any other GIS questions on Twitter with the hashtag GIS Ed Help, and we'll be happy to answer them. Happy mapping!